Hi, I'm Brian Wong, founder and CEO of Keep. Uh, Keep is a rewards network, so we take moments of achievement, as we call them, in existing apps and games that you use every day. So imagine leveling up in a game, or finishing off a to-do, or logging a run, and in those moments, um, we have your favorite brands reward you. So imagine logging a run and getting a free Gatorade or something like that. To grow Keep, to be bigger and better than ever before, uh, we're looking internationally. Um, we're also looking at other pools of moments. So we've actually announced a week ago our first rewards for connected cars. So we wanted to show the world that, hey, Keep not only applies to just apps and the things you're using on your phone, but actually moments that may occur with anything that's connected. So your car, let's say, could tell you if your oil change is going to be necessary. And actually, instead of just telling you, might as well reward you from Midas, and that's actually what we're doing with a company called Mojo, we just announced this a couple weeks ago. Having this really sort of V1 mock-up and went to a venture capitalist from a VC firm called True Ventures, and I showed him this mock-up and over coffee, and he got very excited about it and brought me into the partners for a meeting the following week, and uh, you know, Sooner rather than later, we got a, a, a term sheet and uh, we were up and running probably two months from first meeting. I'm now 23. Today's my birthday. I've got nothing to lose. Uh, the backstory is I actually got laid off from my job just prior, so I had just lost my full time job in, in the May of that year. and, and went ahead and started meeting with, with VCs in, in, in July. And uh, yeah, I just didn't think that there would be anything to lose. And if they were to copy it, then so be it. It's not like I had anything better as an, op as an alternative. I wouldn't know, I don't have a crystal ball, but of course we'd like it to be in the billions, I think. Uh, I'd rather focus on the value that we'll create on the world and I think what we're trying to do is it's got so many applications to it actually sometimes ends up being one of the issues that we have is focus because I talked about the car thing um, we're using that as sort of like a labs approach to just experiment and show things in sort of a controlled manner but keep we've seen in the last three years apply to so many categories you've got games fitness food music productivity and sports it doesn't end so I think we if we are doing it in a controlled way Way, can really prove a lot of value in many industries because the whole notion of powering serendipitous rewards in pretty much any facet of life uh, that's digitally connected is incredibly powerful. We're like the rewards API for the planet. And many people don't realize its significance, but we'll, we'll kind of be working in the background just delighting people. That's kind of what we're going to do for forever. Yeah, I think there's folks that, you know, I think there's this infographic that just came out recently of all the, 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 the entrepreneurs that started later, um, like Mark Pincus started in his 30s and wanted to sort of prove to folks that you don't have to be in your teens in order to be successful as an entrepreneur to start something. So I think people, like, there's no rush. You can start anytime you want. For me, I happen to graduate early, so I started when I graduate. It's very logical for me. Um, although I do think that, yes, there may be some, if you have issues with the education system, you have the power to change it to go and, and find your own education find something that works for you. And so that's why I think the litany of opportunities and how you can learn your way that's out there basically makes it so that you have no excuse. Especially when I talk to entrepreneurs, they're like, oh, I don't know coding, blah, blah, blah. Go learn it. Like, it'll take you like a month. And in fact, like, these, there's so many services out there. Like, when I started, there were no, you know, super, you know, uh, brushed up, sort of complete thorough services online that were, were completely, you know, sort of almost like accredited in their own way. Um, that's, that means that you have almost no excuse nowadays.